Hey everyone, Trey Mick here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show off some of the new features found within Axiom 6. Now, to start, we are in the case dashboard. We are running dark mode, which I love, and all I've done is simply process a brand new case with an Android uh, full image raw file. And on the dashboard, you can notice a couple things here. So as I scroll down the right-hand side here, you're going to see we have potential cloud evidence leads. This is going to allow you to very quickly and easily identify uh, pieces that Axiom have found that could be additional leads for you found within Axiom Cloud. So here we can see we have Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Uber all found as potential leads from cloud evidence. Now on the left hand side here you see we have case overview and we also have insights. And part of that insights is potential cloud evidence leads. So when I select that you're going to see we have on the left hand side we have it broken down per type of evidence. So we start with Facebook we can say we have a username, potential passwords and tokens, when it was last modified, where that artifact came from. And below that, we have the different artifacts that we can potentially pull from Facebook. So for instance, if you wanna get a little bit more information on perhaps maybe the cloud Facebook timeline, you can select that. And Axiom is gonna go ahead and open up our resource guide to allow you to look at the artifact reference. And here, I'm gonna drag it over. And here you can see we get more information about what that would actually look like if we went ahead and acquired the cloud Facebook timeline. Now, back in Axiom, on the right-hand side, we have the different access methods. So we could absolutely go in if we had the legal authority to do so, we could acquire the private user account data. Now, keep in mind for the private data, you will need their username and password, and you need an internet connection to complete this task. We could also potentially acquire just their public data. And for this, you're not going to have to have their username and password. You're just going to need to know their username for us to be able to essentially scrape whatever publicly uh, available information that they have on their Facebook account. We could also, from here, load a download your information package that we fully support with Axiom. We could load that directly from here as well. Or if perhaps uh, you get a warrant return back for this case and for this investigation from Ross Thomas 202 at gmail.com, you could go ahead and load in that warrant return from this location as well. So several different methods of being able to access additional cloud data for you to review. Now in the center here as well, you can see we have acquired data from this account. And this is gonna allow you to essentially jump right back into Axiom process, pull in that data that you want and keep going with your investigation. But if we select some of these other potential cloud evidence leads, we can see we have information regarding a Google account where we have a token, we can scroll down. Once again, we have a whole slew of Google-based artifacts that we could pull from. And once again, if you want to pull from their user account, maybe load in a Google takeout or have a warrant return, you could absolutely do that here as well. And then we also have you know Uber account information along with Twitter account information as well. And we'll select that just as we did with Facebook and Google. You can see we have passwords and additional artifacts here. And we also have you know whether we want their private user account information or maybe the public account uh, information as well. And for this, maybe I want to go ahead and acquire just their public user account data. Now, as I mentioned, this was going to pull you right back into Axiom process. Now that we have Axiom process open, I'll go ahead and say I had the proper search authorization to pull this information. I'll hit next. And here you can see we have public Twitter information. We can select the date range if we would like to do that. And then we can put in down here the username for the Twitter account whose tweets we want to acquire. So something to keep in mind, you always want to put the at symbol. So for this, I will do at Ross Thomas 202. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and all this information will be saved into an AFF4L container. And I want the tweets, the followers, and who they're following. And simply select next. Go ahead and go into processing details. For this, I'm just going to jump straight down into analyze and collect that data. We'll be right back after we finish acquiring Ross Thomas's public Twitter information. Now that we have all of our evidence added back into Axiom, and as you can see, we have our Twitter and we still have our Android uh, device, I'm going to go ahead and go over to our artifact view. The last couple things I want to highlight here, down on the left-hand side, you can see social networking, and we have our uh, public uh, information as far as our users that uh, this individual was uh, following. And here we can see we can select uh, Tim Cook, and on the right-hand side, we get you know, the little previews and pictures. We scroll down, we get more artifact information, so we get the bio and the screen name, along with the followers and like counts uh, from that public acquisition. 
Lastly, I want to highlight a little bit more information around the Cloud Insights and what else we've done. So within Refine Results here, you can see you know, we have passwords and tokens, and we have 90 hits here. We've now further refined that, and if you look up this list, you're going to see Cloud Passwords and Tokens. And this is going to be a refined list from the Passwords and Tokens list that's going to include information that we've pulled and you know, presented to you for our potential cloud evidence leads. And here you can see, once again, we have Uber, Google, Twitter. And once again, on the right-hand side, we can see the potential cloud evidence leads. And this will take you right back over to our uh, Insights dashboard, along with if we want to go ahead and do an acquisition from this view as well of this data source. So something to keep in mind, obviously, you always need to have the proper legal search authorization, but just an easier way for you to be able to pull that data into your case file. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit View Cloud Insights. And once again, this is going to take us right back over to where we started earlier in our case, uh, being able to see all the different cloud evidence leads. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to our, the Magnet Forensics YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.